I'm your host, Gary Seegers, and this is BetUS TV. Now, you've likely heard the phrases, life's too short to bet the under, or it's not over till it's under, etc. There are several groups on social media that call themselves the Overs Club, known for betting on overs. But what is that? If you're new to sports gambling, you may not have a clue what any of that means. What's an over? In that case, what's an under? What is a total? On today's show, we're going to explain the total, or the over-under, in sports betting. What it is, how it's calculated, common odds, and some strategies you can use to help win your bets. The typical definition of an over-under, or total, is the combined score of two teams in a game or match. But it can be expanded to a bet on whether a specific statistic for a game will be higher or lower than a pre-agreed value. Now that would include props, like team point totals, or the amount of points scored by a certain player, etc., or even regular season win totals. Let's look at an example. While total bets are available in a multitude of sports, we'll look at the most popular, the NFL. In this year's Super Bowl, the Rams were four and a half point favorites and the total was set at 48 and a half. The formula for team totals is simple. For the favorite, you take the total divided by two plus the spread divided by two. And then for the underdog, which in this case would have been the Bengals, you take the total divided by two minus the spread divided by two. So using that formula, the sports book believed the Rams would win the game 26.25 to 21.75, or by rounding, 26 to 22. The final score was 23 to 20, totaling 43 points, which means that the bet went under. In totals betting, it does not matter who wins the game or who actually scores the points. Only the total number of points scored in the game will determine a winning wager. With team totals, it doesn't matter if the team you bet on wins the game, it only matters how many points they scored. The most common odds for totals is the industry standard minus 110, which means a better would have to wager $110 to win 100. This is the same as most point spreads. While minus 110 is common, the odds can vary based on initial probability, such as with win totals, or on action moving the numbers. If a total is about to change for the sports book, you can see it jump to minus 105 and then to plus 100, or on the other side, to minus 115 or minus 120 before it eventually moves half a point or so. The way totals are calculated varies from sport to sport. For this exercise, we'll discuss football and basketball. In football, specifically the NFL, total calculations include a lot of statistical considerations. Points per game for each team in recent games, previous meeting results and stats, third and fourth down conversions, field goal percentages, rushing yards, completions and interceptions. You can also look at any number of more recent analytics, including points per play combined with pace of play. In college football, you can combine the projected points per play with the projected number of plays for each team to come out with a projected point total. In basketball, it's very similar, but sometimes very easy. You can take both teams' average points, both for and against, multiply it together, and then divide it by the average points scored across the league, and that should give you something close to the total. Soccer, hockey, and baseball, of course, will have lower totals, which makes sense because a score in each of those only counts as one point. In soccer, the most common final total over the last five years has been one. In hockey, it's somewhere between five and six, and in baseball, it's seven. Very different from the NBA, which is 219, and the NFL, 41. Of course, there are a lot of things that can impact totals, including injuries, and with football, baseball, and other outdoor sports, weather. So what strategies can you use to wager on the totals? There are a few, actually. As always, watch the teams. Do your research before betting. Get the best of the line. The public likes betting over, so if you think you're going to go over, get the bet in early. If you like the under, but you see the total trending up, wait until later to hit it. Pace of play is a key indicator, as those that run more plays are likely to score more points. On the flip side, those that run less plays are likely to score less. But as I stated before, do your research. For example, in college football in 2021, Ole Miss ran the fourth most offensive plays per game in the country, which led most people to bet their overs. But they were actually number 58 in points per play, and their overs only went 3-10 and 10 on the season. Against Baylor in the Sugar Bowl, their offense ran 97 plays, and the team only put 7 points on the board. Against Tennessee, they ran 101 plays, but only put up 31 points. In college basketball, it's very similar. Coppin State was number eight in the country in adjusted tempo, but number 264 in points per game, and their overs only went 14 and 18 on the season. 
pay attention to the weather. For football and outdoor sports, as I mentioned before, rain and wind can really affect scoring. But in baseball, pay attention to which direction the wind will be blowing, as that can affect how far the ball can be hit, etc. So let's recap. What is a total? A total, or over-under, is the point scored by each team in a game, but can also be applied to props, win totals, and more. What are the common odds? Similar to a point spread, the odds are usually minus 110 on both sides, but depending on the game, the action, and the type of wager, whether prop bet, etc., it can vary. How is a total calculated? A total is calculated by combining several different statistics, points per play, pace of play, etc., to provide what the expected point total will be. Betting strategies. First, do your research. Also, the general public loves to bet overs, which means you can typically find good underplays closer to certain events. Coincidentally, if you have a game that you think will go over, you better wager on early before the market moves too much. So there's your explanation of a totals bet, or over-unders, and some strategies you can use to help you win. Make sure to sign up at BetUS where the game begins, and stay tuned to BetUS TV for more how-to videos on sports gambling.